Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP laptop, and in this video, I'll be doing a step by step on how to replace a CPU fan. Let me tell you the scenario what is happening right now is that when I turn on the computer, I can hear that the buzzing noise is coming from the ventilation, the exhaust fan on the side here. And you can actually hear like the blade is scraping through the metal. You get this buzzing. Uh, noise constantly uh, going on so I know it's coming from the CPU fan and if that happens to you if that applies to you you're having the same problem this is the video that you want to watch and I'll walk you through the process and how to replace it so before you continue grabbing your screwdriver and start digging to the laptop uh, I just want to ask a favor if you can click the like button and hit the subscribe if you haven't uh, I like to see you to be a subscriber and I'll make more of this type of computer repair videos for you and if you have any question just ask down below I'm more than happy to answer those questions alright so let's go ahead and get started um, I will show you the model here the model of this is HP 15-BS087 NR. I'm not sure if you can read the fine print because it's too fade away. Uh, hopefully that helps to give you an idea. Now you want to remove the battery first. So go ahead and push the two uh, clipper on the side and that to slide the battery away from you. Now the next step you like to do is to remove the screws. Uh, these are the Phillips screws. So go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver and remove those screws. So once you remove this screw right here, you can actually slide the optical drive to your left and that's how you remove the uh, optical drive. All the screws are the same in size, so it's okay if you mix match the screws. Um, you don't have to worry about matching the screws and put it back them together. The next step I'd like to do is to check to see the rubber underneath, uh, if there's any screw hidden behind them. So there's one here. The rubber st stopper is held by the double-sided tape. So if, if the rubber is not sticky enough, you can just get one of those double-sided tape and just tape it down. Let's check the bottom and see if there's any screws. It looks like there's one here at the bottom but it's coming from this side of it, the end of this side. All right, so far we have removed all the screws and let's go ahead and try to pry it open. What you want to do is you want to start from the corner that is the uh, weakest point and work your way around it. If you have a plastic plastic prying tool, I suggest you to use that instead of the metal uh, just because the plastic does not give a scratch onto the, uh, the surface. Uh, so that way it's a lot cleaner and when you do the repair. Try not to stick it all the way in. You do not want to stick too deep to make any damage onto the keyboard or the motherboard, anything internal. So you want to stick it just good enough for you to separate the back cover. And once you have the back cover being separated, the plastic will just come straight out. 
All right, at this point here, this is the uh, CPU fan. And as you can see that the uh, the blade, sometimes when it spin, you can hear that grinding noise like this. So in this video, I'm actually would like to replace the, uh, the metal piece here, the entire CPU fan. So first of all, uh, what you want to do is to disconnect the CPU connector. You can just push the connector away from you, like away from the body, and that's how you disconnect that. Alright, so the next step here, I try to go underneath. You can see that there's one uh, Phillips screw is holding onto the CPU fan. Go ahead and remove that. Now, there you go. So you can just place an order for this replacement CPU fan and then you should have it. Now the uh, model number of this, you can look it up. Uh, either look it up for this number, SPS 9250 12-001 or you can look it up as DC 28000JLF0. The fan should look something like this. And if yours is dirty, go ahead and clean it up. But other than that, it's very straightforward to get the fan re replaced. Now, um, since I already have the computer open up, I like to just kind of show it to you what you can do um, in terms of upgrading your computer. So these are the RAM. You can upgrade the RAM if you want. Uh, this one here is your hard drive. These are the regular hard drive that spins. So it doesn't have the performance. It can be very slow. I suggest you to maybe buy an SSD drive. So this this one right here is the SSD solid state drive. Uh, if you buy one of this and you can install, reload the windows, you should have a very fast computer. Now if you want to keep the data, your programs, your settings, everything over to the solid state drive. I make a separate video for you. I have them in the description. I have the link in the description below. Click on that link, it will direct you to one of my video, which I will explain to you how to clone the original hard drive over to the SSD drive. When you clone it over, everything stay the same. The windows, the programs, the data, the settings, everything should migrate over while you're cloning it. Now, if you want to uh, speed up the computer a little bit or add additional RAM because you do a lot of multitask, uh, you can upgrade the RAM. This are DDR4 RAM. Here's a CMOS battery for those of you who want to ask about how to reset the BIOS. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the CMOS where you remove it, remove the battery, let it sit for 5-20 minutes, 5-10 uh, minutes and you should be good to uh, um, reset the, uh, the motherboard. Alright, so this is a very simple process of doing a fan replacement. Um, once you have the new fan comes in, you just have to do the reverse process by installing the uh, cable first, okay, and then put the screws back on. Put the uh, you want to put the uh, the back cover back on here, and all the screws. That's pretty much it. Uh, just a reverse process on how to do uh, uh, to put it back together. Alright, so um, this is it. I do not have the new fan. I'll place an order because I just like to look up for the serial number here. And I'll have them in the link description below. Uh, you can actually get it from either eBay or Amazon. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, uh, please do not forget to hit the like button. I appreciate you for doing that. And also, if you can do me a favor, I want you to comment below. Let me know if you are able to change out the fan by yourself by watching this video. Alright, I'd like to hear from you and take care now. Bye-bye.